Go ahead. We are now also live on Facebook. Okay. Do you want to put up the presentation first? Yes. Uh, share screen. Okay, so welcome everybody to our presentation this evening. Uh, we're going to be conducting the presentation in English and Cantonese. Um, so our presentation is going to be about the effect of COVID-19 on housing courts as well as current housing benefits um, that tenants are eligible to apply for. Um, this evening's training is being co-sponsored by the Asian Americans for Equality as well as the Office of Assembly Member Yuli Nu. Uh, my name is Ricky He. I am a staff attorney with Manhattan Legal Services. And Manhattan Legal Services is a nonprofit organization that provides free legal services to uh, low income New Yorkers. Um, we provide free legal services in the area of different civil legal services practice areas. So do feel free to contact us if you have other concerns as well. Uh, 講咗你就會係英文同埋廣東話嚟進行嘅。咁今晚咧我哋就會講一講解觀眾肺炎疫情嘅關係對於房屋發停咁啲咩影響同埋而家啊紐約市係有啲乜嘢住房福利大家可以
如果你個房東係攞唔到一個判決，定係驅逐令嘅話咧，啊，你個房東係唔可以合法將你驅逐出你個單位度嘅。咁樣點房東要點樣做先可以去到房屋法庭開始一個案件咧？第一，佢哋就你個房東就需要寄俾你一個十四日個通知書。依、這個通知書咧係要喺書面上啊俾你嘅。如果佢淨係喺口頭上講你咧，就係、是、唔唔成效嘅，一定喺書面上寄俾你。咁樣呢個通知書就要講低話你而家爭落係幾多租金，同埋啊你爭落個租金個日期係幾時，個拖欠日期係幾時。咁例如如果你而家嘅租金係一千蚊嘅話，而你依過去依三個月咧都仲未有可能交租金，咁呢個通知書咧就要寫明話你係爭緊三三千蚊。同埋你爭緊個時間咧，就係三月、四月同埋五月嘅。咁樣房東交咗依一個啊通知書俾你之後，十四日之後咧，佢哋就可以去到房屋法庭度開始一個未付款嘅程序啊，等佢哋可以啊將你驅逐嘅。咁樣十四日之後，佢哋房東去到房屋法庭，佢佢哋就要攞一個。啊！起訴通知同埋一個起訴書嚟遞俾你哋，然之後就開始個案件嘅。下面 next。Okay， 嗯 ，back one。Okay， great。啊 ，so now let's talk about how to answer a petition. Um, after you receive the notice of petition and petition, you must provide an answer with the court. Uh, the answer is your response to the landlord's allegations that you have failed to pay rent. You can inform the court of any defenses that you may have, as well as the reasons why you are unable to pay rent. So, for example,、um, if you disagree with the amount of rent that's being charged, or you dis, or you think that the landlord has not properly credited you、uh, an amount that you have already paid, you can state all of that in your answer. Uh, you can also include any counterclaims that you have against your landlord, such as、uh, for failure to make any necessary repairs in your apartment, or if the landlord has、um, harassed you in any way. You must answer within ten days after you receive the notice of petition and petition. If you fail to answer within the ten days, your landlord may obtain a default judgment from the court against you, and the landlord can use that default judgment to try to evict you. OK， 咁樣我哋而家先講一講解啊，收到起訴通知書同埋起訴書之後咧，就要做啲乜嘢嘅？咁收到依兩個文件之後咧，你就需要啊，俾一個答覆俾俾房屋法庭嘅。答覆咧就係你將啊業主俾你嘅起訴書入邊所講個指控咧，就提供一個答案啦。咁樣喺個起訴書裏邊咧，你個業主就會話你啊咩日期係未交租嘅。咁喺依一個答案入邊咧，你就可以同啊法庭講係咩原因，你有你自己係有啲咩抗辯理由啊，你冇交到租嘅。啊喺依一個答覆入邊咧，你亦都可以提供啊反訴訟嘅。如果你個業主係冇幫你進進行啊有需要嘅維修啊，定係如果你個業主係有啊，即係騷擾嘅你啊，你都亦都可以喺依個答覆入邊啊，同法院講嘅。咁樣啊，你收到起訴通知書啦，同埋起訴書，起訴書十日之內咧，你係必須要去到房屋法庭俾一個答覆嘅。咁如果十日之內咧，你都未俾答覆法庭嘅話，啊，你嘅業主就可以叫法庭頒一個違約判決嘅。咁如果法庭頒一個違約判決嘅話咧，咁你個業主就可以用呢個判決嚟將你驅逐嘅。Okay, next please. Next, let's talk about、um, how to provide an answer. So you can provide an answer by calling the court clerk.、Uh, right now, because of the pandemic, you don't have to go to the courthouse in, per in person. However, if you want to, if you prefer to go to the courthouse, you can certainly still do so.、Uh, the phone number to make your answer with the court clerk is six four six three eight six five five zero five. The housing court is located at one eleven Center Street on the second floor.、Uh, 
Um, if you require an interpreter, you can request um, an, an interpreter to assist you in submitting your answer, either if you're filing your answer over the phone or if you're doing it in person. Uh, when you file your answer, when you talk with the court clerk, the clerk will ask you to provide them with your phone number as well as an email address if you have one. Uh, if you don't have an email, it's fine to just provide a phone number. Uh, you should include in your answer if the COVID-19 pandemic has affected your finances or your health or the finances or health of anybody else in your household. Um, you should also include in your answer whether your apartment is in need of any repairs as well as whether or not um, the landlord has harassed you in any way. Okay, now we're going to talk about the previous two answers. How do you get to the answer? Because of the pandemic, if you want to get to the answer, you can just call the phone number to the court. The phone number is 646 646-386-5505. 如果你想去親身去法庭你也可以的但是因為疫情的關係是不需要親身去到法庭的如果你想親身去法庭的地址就是一一一中央街在二樓的如果你有需要要回去的話你也可以在電話上要求回去的地址就是一一一中央街在二
咁樣你俾咗你嘅答覆之後咧，啊，法庭嘅書記咧就會通知你，你第一個翻嚟法庭嘅日期係幾時嘅？啊，有機會你俾你嘅答覆嗰陣時，你個書記就會即刻同你講，啊，你幾時要翻嚟？如果個書記唔即刻同你講嘅話咧，啊，法庭就會寄一個信俾你，啊，同你講個日期同埋個時間係幾時嘅。啊！而家啲而家會法庭嘅日期咧，啊日期嘅會議咧，就係、是、全部都係用緊啊視頻啊同埋電話嚟進行嘅，係唔需要親身去到房屋法庭嘅。啊，你將法庭啊，即係俾你一個日期嗰陣時咧，佢哋就亦都會提供一個電話號碼同埋一個啊視頻個資料，等你可以參喺參加呢個視頻嘅。喺第一次翻法庭嗰陣時咧，啊、呃，你就會同一個法庭個律師會面先嘅。咁喺第一個法庭會議咧，就會有你自己本人啦，啊、呃，業主嘅律師啦，同埋依一位法庭嘅業法庭嘅律師嘅。咁法庭嘅業師個律師咧，就會嘗試促成一個啊、呃、和解協議。如果依個法庭律師係幫幫助唔到你同埋你業主和解嘅話咧，咁樣你個案件咧就會交俾一個啊房屋法庭個啊法官嚟審訊嘅。咁樣如果喺第一次去到法庭係冇可能冇可能啊和解嘅話咧，咁樣下一次翻嚟法庭咧就會同一個啊房屋法庭個官嚟審訊你個案件嘅。咁而家咧，紐約市就嘗試緊提供啊免費嘅法律服務俾所有啊租客，而家喺法，而家喺啊房屋法庭有案件嘅人嘅。咁樣啊，依啲法律服務咧係免費嘅。喺你俾你嘅答案法庭嗰陣時咧，法庭係會要求你提供你嘅電話號碼同埋你嘅電子郵件俾法庭。啊，法庭就會將你個。聯絡資料咧就交俾紐約市政府，然之後紐約市政府就會交你嘅資料俾紐約市而家唔同提供啊免費法律服務嘅機構，然之後依啲機構咧就會啊嘗嘗試啊啊嘗試你同你聯繫，等佢哋可以啊幫助你喺呢啲案件度嘅。咁樣如果你啊去翻法庭第一次嘅日期之前未有任何個非牟利公機構啊。未有任何其其他嘅非貿易機構嘗嘗試同你聯繫嘅話，亦都唔使擔心嘅。咁樣喺第一次翻去法庭嗰陣時咧，同法庭個律師會面嗰陣時，法庭個律師亦都會問你想唔想要接受一啲啊非貿易機構嘅免費法律服務。咁喺嗰陣時，你亦都可以要求一個律師嚟幫助你嘅。啊，阿 Min Next。Okay. One thing, to, another thing to remember、um, during this pandemic is that rent is still owed to landlords during the pandemic.、Um, however, there have been new laws that have been passed to provide more protections to tenants. In July of 2020, New York State passed legislation called the Tenant Safe Harbor Act to try to protect tenants who have been unable to pay some or all of their rent due to COVID-19. The Tenant Safe Harbor Act stops landlords from getting a possessory judgment against tenants in non-payment cases for rent that has not been paid during the pandemic because of financial hardship、um, in a tenant's household that is caused by COVID-19. The pandemic period、uh, is from March 7, 2020, until the COVID-19 emergency restrictions are lifted、uh, in the tenant's county and residence. So for the, for our purposes right now,、um, the COVID nineteen period is still running、um, until whenever、uh, all restrictions due to COVID nineteen are lifted. So what does this mean? What does it mean that the landlord cannot get a possessory judgment? Without a possessory judgment, a landlord cannot evict the tenant for unpaid rent that accrued during the pandemic period because of financial hardship that the tenant has experienced during this pandemic. So if the land, if the tenant is unable to pay the rent that is due, the landlord cannot evict that tenant、uh, for any rent that comes due after March seven, twenty twenty, until the COVID period ends. 
Uh, just now, one, another thing to remember is that just because that landlord cannot evict the tenant uh, for non-payment of rent during that period, it doesn't mean that the tenant doesn't owe the rent. Uh, the Tenant Safe Harbor Act doesn't cancel the rent that's owed. The tenant will still owe the rent to the landlord for any unpaid rent during the COVID-19 period. The act still allows the landlord to get a money judgment for the unpaid rent that accrued. Uh, with a money judgment, the landlord can still collect the unpaid rent as debt, uh, for example, by trying to garnish the tenant's wages or by trying to seize money in the tenant's bank account. Uh, so now let's, okay, 那現在我們講一講解, uh, 第二件事大家要記住的就是因為疫情的關係爭落的租金如果大家有爭落而主任和租金的話 大家亦都是繼續爭這些租金的 這個新的法例就說明在疫情的時間,在3月7日2020年至到疫情完結為止 關於要戴口罩,限制令,等到這些令的程度取消 如果拿不到這個擁有權判決,如果大家是不交租的話,業主是沒有可能拒絕你在這個期間 但是業主還可以去法庭攞一個金錢判決 uh,你將來的,嗯,人工啊,定係你而家有任何銀行户口,啊,業主亦都可以嘗試用呢一個金錢判決去你啲户口度攞錢嘅。Okay, uh, next I want to talk about the emergency rental and assistance program. Uh, my colleague is going to talk more in depth about what the program will do, but I do just want to point out a couple of protections that the that this uh, program provides tenants. So New York created the Emergency Rental Assistance Program to provide economic relief to low and moderate income tenants who had unpaid rent as a result of the pandemic that accrued after March 13th of 2020. If a landlord accepts payment through ERAP, the tenant is entitled to certain protections. Uh, the landlord cannot sue for rent to the rears that are covered by ERAP. Uh, the landlord also waives any late fees for arrears that are covered by the ERAP program. Uh, landlord cannot increase the monthly rent for one year from the receipt date of the ERAP payment. The landlord can also not evict the tenant for reason of expired lease for one year from the receipt of the ERAP payment. However, there is an exception for when tenants are living in a unit that is in a building with uh, four or less units and the landlord is trying to get the apartment back um, for themselves or for an immediate family member to reside in as a primary residence. 
。OK， 而家我就想讲一讲解啊，纽约州一个新嘅计划，叫做啊紧急租紧急租人援助计划。啊，咁我個同事之後咧就會再詳細咁講一講解依一個計劃嘅。但係而家我就想講一講啊，依、这個計劃係俾啲俾乜嘢啊保護租客嘅。咁樣啊，依一個計劃咧就係、是、啊紐約州通過嚟幫助啲低收入同埋啲中收入嘅租客嘅。如果啊啲低收入定係中收入嘅低嘅租客喺三月十三號，二零二零年之後係有爭落租金，而係因為啊疫情嘅關係係交唔到交唔到租金嘅話咧，啊咁呢一個呢一、这個計劃咧係會幫助呢一啲人士嚟交交款一部分嘅佢哋爭落嘅租金嘅。咁樣如果你個業主係接受咗政府俾呢一啲啊付款嘅話咧，啊咁樣你就係有以下呢幾樣保護嘅。啊！你嘅業主係唔可以再告你啊啊！唔、啊、可以再告你，等你再交款啊！呢、这、一個計劃已經幫你交咗嗰部分嘅租金啊！業主係亦都要免除任何你因為遲交啊租金嘅罰款啊！業主亦都唔可以喺一年內咧，業主都唔可亦都唔可以將你嘅雞你你個租金。啊，提升嘅啊，最後同埋喺一年內咧，你個業主都唔可以因為你個啊租契啊完，你個租契完咗個理由嚟將你驅逐嘅啊，除非你個業主，除非你自己本人而家係住緊喺一個單位係一個啊大廈係有四個單位以下，同埋你嘅業主係想攞翻個單位嚟俾佢自己本人住。定係俾佢自己啊屋企人住嘅。我問咧。Okay, now I just want to talk about the New York State eviction moratorium that's still in effect.、Uh, in May of 2021, New York extended the state moratorium on evictions until August 31st of 2021. Uh, if a tenant completes a hardship declaration and files it with the court or provides it to their landlord, the, they cannot be evicted for non-payment of rent until at least August 31st.、Uh, for the purposes of the hardship declaration, there are generally two categories that people can submit the declaration for. One is for people who have been financially affected by COVID-19, and then the second category is for people who are at increased risk of、uh, having serious medical condition if they are to get COVID-19. So both of these categories are are quite broad.、Uh, in essence, pretty much everybody、uh, would be eligible to submit a hardship declaration. Um, if you want to get a copy of the hardship declaration, you can go to the following website. NYCourts.gov/eefpa.、Um, the hardship declaration is available in English as well as other、uh, languages as well、uh, at this website, including Chinese, Spanish, and other、uh, prevalent languages in New, York, in New York City. So, if you are to file this hardship declaration with the court or with your landlord,、um, your landlord would not be able to commence a non-payment case against you until after August thirty-first. If your landlord has already started a non-payment case against you, but they have not yet received a judgment and warrant of eviction against you, then nothing can happen in your housing court case until after August 31st.、Uh, if your landlord already received a judgment and warrant against you, then they cannot execute on that、uh, warrant. They cannot evict you until after August 31st. Uh, there is an exception where the tenant is persistently and unreasonably engaging in behavior that substantially infringes on the use and enjoyment of other tenants,、uh, or causes a substantial safety hazard to others in their apartment. So, in essence,、um, if the tenant is causing a nuisance condition in their apartment, then the eviction moratorium doesn't necessarily apply to them. They may still be evicted for causing these nuisance conditions. OK， 咁樣而家咧，我就再想講一講解。啊，喺紐約州而家咧，我哋就有一個啊暫緩驅逐令。啊，依、这個驅逐令咧就係話喺紐約州
任何即係未交任何人係爭落租金嘅話，而未交嘅話，啊、呃、業主係唔可以將佢哋驅逐，至到八月三十一號之後先可以將佢哋驅逐嘅。啊，咁樣如果大家想有依一個保障嘅話咧，係要需要交俾法庭定係交俾你嘅業主一個監一個監庫定一個困難聲明書。啊，依、这個聲明書咧就可以去到啊紐約法庭個網站度下載嘅。依、这個網站就係啊 nycourts c o c o u r t s dot g o v。slash e e f p a 啊，就去到依個網頁度下載依個聲明書嘅。咁依個聲明聲明書喺去到依個網頁度咧，你就會揾到依個聲明書喺英文啊、中文啊、西班牙文啊，同埋其他喺紐約會啊常常見個議員嘅。啊，如果你將依一個聲明書交到俾你嘅業主，定係交咗俾法庭嘅話咧？啊，咁樣你嘅業主就喺三喺八月三十一一號之前咧，就唔可以開始一個一個關於啊未交租金個啊未交租金個一個案件嘅案件，一個法庭嘅案件嘅，要等到八月三十一號之後先可以去到法庭開始呢個案件。咁如果呢個案件已經開始咗嘅話，啊，而你個業主係仲未喺法庭度得到判決定係驅逐令咧，咁樣你個案件就會停止任何運作，係咩事都唔會發生嘅，係要等到八月三十一號之後，啊法庭先至再會喺你個案件度啊繼續你個案件嘅。咁樣如果你個業主就已經攞到一個啊判決同埋驅逐令嘅話咧。咁你嘅業主亦都仲未可以驅逐你嘅，係要等到八月三十一號之後，先至可以用呢一個判決同埋呢個驅逐令嚟將你驅逐嘅。啊，但係亦都有一，但係亦都有一個例外嘅。如果啊，如果大家係，好啦，好啦 ，Can someone unmute it? Can you just mute yourself? 啊，有一個人係。有啲噪音啊，可唔可以嘗試啊？試聽你嘅聲音，唔該嚇。OK， 啊，咁就有一個例外嘅，就係、是、如果你喺你個單位度咧，就做緊啲不合理啊、不合理嘅個行為啊，啊，做緊啲啊，仲會仲做緊一啲行為係有可能涉及人哋其他人嘅安全嘅話咧。啊，咁呢個驅逐令就係唔會保護你嘅。如果你而家現在喺你個單位做緊任何啲，即係會將其他人會其他人嘅安全受到影響嘅話咧，你亦都係可以被驅逐嘅。Okay, so now we're going to turn it over to my colleague Nicole and Yiran, who's going to talk more about housing benefits. 啊，咁而家我就俾我個啊兩位同事啊 Nicole 同埋 Iran 就會繼續講解啊，而家喺紐約市咧有啲乜嘢啊住房嘅福利可以大家可以申請嘅。Okay, Nicole and Iran, take it away. Screen, please. <coughs> Hello. Can you please change the screen, please? Hi, my name is Nicole Reyes. I work at Manhattan Legal Services, and I work in the Government Benefits Unit. I'm going to talk about types of housing benefits. Number one is one-shot deal. We're going to talk about ERAP and some other benefits. 好，大家好啊！咁啊 ，Nicole 佢就喺啊曼哈頓啊法援助處嗰度誒，有關做有關福利嘅部門嘅。咁今日都會講解即係、就是、住房補貼類種類有三種啊。第一種就係啊單次緊急補助，第二咧就係之前講嗰個啊緊急房租啊援助項目，同埋啊第三有其他嘅津貼。係，啊。Let's talk about one-shot deal. What is a one-shot deal? It's a one-time grant to stop or prevent an emergency 
whether it's an eviction, a utility shut off, some con ed, domestic violence, and or fire disaster. HRA sends the checks directly to the landlord. And most people need to repay at least part of the grant. Next slide, yeah. please. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. So, uh, 咩系叫 one shot deal 呢个单次紧急补助咧？咁而呢个诶单次紧急补助就系一个政府提供一次性嘅紧急补助金，就系专门诶帮助避免即系紧急事情，例如话俾人驱赶、诶断水断电、诶受到家庭暴力或者一些意外灾害而需到需要动用呢笔钱嘅。而 HRA 诶。人力誒嗰、uh, 個誒、uh, 人力 resource 嗰、那個嗰、那個 department 咧，嗰、那個 department 咧，佢就會直接將佢嗰、那個誒、uh, 支票就會寄去你嘅房東嗰度。而個呢個誒補助咧，誒、uh, 好多人大多數都需要誒、uh, 付誒、uh, 比較少部分嘅誒、uh, 還一個少部分嘅嘅款項嘅。Next slide, please. Eligibility, an emergency that causes the arrears, and you must show that you either had loss of income, loss of a roommate, loss of benefits of some kind, whether it's social security, social security disability, uh, medical expenses, inability you to pay it back. So you have to show that you have either. Your future income, or you have a new job or new employment,、uh, or your rent was reduced. You have a new roommate or someone, a contributor to help you pay a part of your rent. 咁申請嘅資格，咁啊必須要有個合理嘅緊急情況，例如話誒、呃、失業，咁你同你同居嗰個誒室友就搬走咗。誒突然之間失去咗呢個政府嘅補助，或者誒有呢個醫療嘅費用，咁誒而申請人就一定要誒有證明到佢將來係有呢個能力去償還呢個啊啊助金嘅補助金嘅，譬如話佢誒收入增加，揾到個新嘅工作，揾到新嘅啊室友誒搬入嚟，或者佢租金誒降低，或者揾到呢個贊助人。Next slide, please. How to apply? You must submit an application. You could do it online or by a mobile app that you can put on your phone or your computer. And the website is a zero six nine hyphen access dot nyc dot gov backslash access hra. Backslash、uh, number icon and backslash, or you can also apply by phone by calling three one one to have an application be sent to you in the mail. In person, you can visit your local job center to submit an application, a document, or the area of Manhattan. We have the job center, which is Waverly. Job Center. It's located at 12 West 14th Street in New York City,、um, between Fifth and Sixth Avenue. If you are homebound,、um, you can request a home visit by calling the Constituent Service Line at 212-331-4640, or you could also reach out by calling one three one. Or help with your application, you can call the HRA info line at seven one eight two nine one four one four one. 嗱，點樣去申請呢、這個啊？就有四種方法。咁譬如話，第一就可以去到網站，或者去呢個手機軟件嘅 app 嗰度。咁而嗰個網站，我哋個。畫面上面都有嘅啦，咁亦都可以去呢個 Google Play 或者 Apple Store 蘋果嗰個店裏邊咧，就去搜查嗰個啊 App 個名
啊，第二咧，你可以嚟接打三一一啊，去啊要求個申請嗰個表格去寄到你屋企嘅。第三，咁你亦都可以去到我哋辦公佢哋嘅辦公室去申請。咁、那個地址就喺十二西十四街嗰度啊。而第四咧，或者有呢、這個，如果你冇辦法啊。誒、呃、離開屋企或者係身誒殘疾殘障人士嘅話咧，亦都可以打呢個電話二一二三三一四六四零或者三一一，佢亦佢亦都會可以派人去到你屋企，就幫助你去啊申請。咁如果你中途申請中途有問題嘅話咧，亦都可以打我哋以下邊嗰個電話誒七一八五五七一三九九或者八一八。二九一四一四一，咁我哋會有人誒去解答你嘅問題，會幫你噶啦。You can also call、uh, the info line, also another number at seven one eight five five seven one three nine nine。嗯，就係、是、下邊有個七一八五五七一三九九呢個電話都可以幫到你。Next slide, please. Okay, so you have to have documents to provide to the Human Resources Administration when you apply.、Uh, the mandatory documents are usually urban housing court court papers that you're being sued by your landlord,、um, ID for everyone living in the apartment, birth certificates and social security cards,、uh, state ID、uh, or driver's ID. Uh, Up-to-date rent ledger, what we call a rent breakdown, a lease. Up-to-date proof of income of in the household.、Uh, it could be the most recent pay stub you have, or a statement from Social Security that you're receiving SSI or Social Security, or any other type of benefit.、Uh, proof of emergency, the hospitalization paperwork, a, a debt letter. Invoices,、uh, a termination letter from your、uh, boss or your employer, outstanding bills, and also optional are for contributors. They have to provide ID and proof of income, and a letter of contribution、um, or commitment to contribute. Recent Conad bills, a bank statement or tax return. The 所需文件。就一定要啊！如果你誒、啊、面臨拘趕喺法庭上咧，你要提交個法庭文件，咁亦都要證明你所有同你一齊住嘅人啊，佢哋嘅 ID、佢哋嘅出生地，例如出生證明啊，呢、這個綠卡誒，收、啊、紐約州嘅 ID 卡或者呢個行車證，咁亦都需要呢個最新嘅啊租金啊細明租約。誒、uh, 最新嘅收入證明，例如佢最新嘅工資單啊，或者誒、uh, 有呢、這個誒補、uh, 助證明。咁而緊急情況嘅證明咧，譬如就要需要呢個法院嘅誒、uh, 證明啊，即係催交呢個付即係欠款嘅信啊，即係或者你工作合約終止證明，或者有啲未能交得到嘅誒、uh, 帳單。咁有呢個補充文件咧，誒、呃，如果有人願意贊助你，咁就要需要嗰個贊助人嘅身份證、誒、呃、收入證明同埋佢嘅贊助嘅信、最新嘅水電誒、呃、帳單、銀行證明同埋呢個報税單。Next slide, please. Now we're going to talk about ERAP. Um. To my colleague Yirang Wang.、Um, hi, hi, everyone. I'm Yirang. I'm a volunteer at Legal Services NYC.、Um, and、uh, like my colleague Ricky has talked about ERAP a little bit just now, and、uh, we want to emphasize that this is a project that program that we actually recommend、um, everyone to apply for first,、uh, among other reasons because of its like.、Uh, More flexible criteria and the fact that you don't have to repay, so、uh, it has no immigration status requirement.、Um, 
and the only requirement is that you must be a tenant or occupant obliged to pay pay rent. Um, and the exception being tenants living in subsidized housing, for example, NYCHA Section 8, uh, will get low priority and um, those applications will be reviewed last from the ERAP program. And uh, if someone in the household is on unemployment insurance, lost income, or have significant increased costs due to COVID, or experience other financial hardship directly or indirectly due to COVID, then uh, you can apply for ERAP. And uh, especially those at risk of experiencing homelessness or housing security. Um, and they would uh, look at your household income and compare it to uh, like 80% of the area median income. And uh, as long as you're like below 80% of that income and we will, I think have a chart in the next slide to give you a rough idea. Mm. Come 其他就會有優先權低於這個規劃的 um, the form of the payment would be the state will pay rent arrears uh, due from March 13, 2020 forward up to 12 months and plus three months forward if the household is still rent burdened. And uh, you do not need to repay this um, amount and uh, the landlords are not allowed to evict you during this application. And uh, if the landlord accepts money, then uh, no rent, they're not allowed to raise the rent. Uh 去去講你,如果你個屋主接受付款的話呢,你一年內係唔需要交呢個房租。Um and the only thing is that we do not the application is not currently open and we're still waiting for more updates and the latest update we have is that the application will probably be out there around June uh like mid June and uh so uh, you can look out for the updates. 那這個申請方式暫時還未公開,幾時可以申請,但我們亦都大約約知道就應該六月中,六月中就會有這個通知就可能會正式可以接受申請,希望大家多啲留意啦。And um, uh, please note that the HRA will make uh, those eligible to apply for ERAF first before um, they apply for other benefits, for example, the one-shot deal that we just talked about and FAPS and city FAPS that we're going to talk about uh, in a minute. Mm, so, uh, the government has also accept the um, and uh, yeah, next next slide, please. 
Um, so they're, uh, they're reviewing those applications in a certain order and the priority would be given to like the following categories of household. First one is household income, uh, but those with household income under 50% of the area median um, with unemployed household members. And the second one is um, they will get priority to vulnerable population, for example, victims of domestic uh, violence, survivors of human trafficking or veterans. And the third thing is that uh, those who are pending eviction or in areas disproportionately affected by COVID-19. And finally, uh, they will prioritize those who are living in buildings with like less than 20 units and owned by small landlords. Lucia 尤其是在疫情受到严重的区域的住客和最后这个大楼内有二十或者少于二十个单元 I'll hand over back to Nicole. Thank you. Um, we're going to discuss other benefits. We're going to discuss Scree and Dree and charity. Scree and Dree are other housing related programs that people can apply for. Scree or Dree freezes the future rent increases for senior citizens and or people with disabilities. Scree is for uh, senior citizens and three is for people with disabilities. Next slide, please. Okay, come on, enjoy how they sound. Come on, they go on a Kata, a moon job. Bow could your little low yan, cup, sun, tan yan, phone, so tan, tan, could mean homo. Come a squeak, low yan, a tan, a phone, so tan, tan, could mean homo. Come to jump to a look subdisa, you learn car. 而傷殘人士 Next slide, please. Okay, so let's talk about SCREE. As I said before, SCREE and DREE freezes future rent increases for senior citizens and people with disabilities. So for SCREE, you have to be 62 years old or older. Your household income total medium is 50K per year. You spend more than one third of your monthly income on rent. Your name as the primary tenant on the lease or granted succession rights in a rent controlled apartment or rent stabilized rent 以上的收入是拿来交这个房租和申请人必须是住在一个租金管制的房屋里面也都要是那个租入上的持有人。Okay, now for DREE, which is for people with disabilities, you have to be 18 years or older. Your household income again is totally, our medium is 50K per year, receiving SSI or Social Security Disability, a Veterans Affair Disability Pension or Disability Compensation, a Disability Related Medicaid is 
through the applicant has received either SSI or social security disability in the past or United States Postal Service disability pension or disability compensation. 就是這個雙殘人防糟增長豁免項目 Okay, next slide, please. Who is not eligible for SCREE or DREE? Those people that are live in not New York City Housing Authority apartments, Section 8 recipients, non -reg regulated apartments, private homes, or private companies and buildings that are not subject to rent regulation, and people who sublet. 而哪一種申請人是不符合申請資格的呢? Next slide, please. How to apply for either SCREE or DREE? You can either do it by phone, by calling 311 and requesting an application to be mailed to you. You can also find the application form for SCREE online at www.1.nyc.gov backslash site backslash rent backslash tools backslash free hyphen applications dot page. Okay. Yeah,可以申請兩個項目呢,就有一你可以打三一一去要求佢哋記個表格去你屋企,但二,咁亦都可以去我哋即係個以下個網站嗰度。去下載個申請表。第三,或者你可以去到呢個66號莊街,三樓個部門嗰度去申請,佢哋嘅工作時間係星期一至星期五,早上8點30分至到下午4點30分。And for DRE, people with disabilities, you can go to www.1 nyc.gov backslash site backslash rent free backslash tools backslash uh, dree hyphen forms dot page. Gum tila gum go sunting build that gum hai go ying mo san bing gum ya learn go mong dam gum ya go baby go loan. 加嘅一個俾啲傷殘人士嘅，你可以去呢個網站去攞誒索取嗰個申請表格。In person, you could go to the New York City Office of Department of Finance, located at 66 John Street on the third floor, and they're available from Monday through Friday, 8:30 to 4:30. 咁亦都可以。去他剛才講的那個政府部門那裡申請,在66號莊街3樓。And next page. Now for charities, uh you could call Housing Court Answers hotline. They will screen you uh for various charities that you can apply to by calling them at 212 962 or 795, or you can also, if you've been denied for a grant by HRA, 
uh, or loan, you can um, you do not have to pay the entire rears if you apply to uh, various charities that might be available to you. Each charity has its own forms and process, and most charities give under $1,000. Yi 足夠的話呢,我哋都可以建議你去即係去尋找呢啲慈善組織。This is our information from our organization. Um, if you need help, you can always call Legal Services for New York City for uh, an intake appointment at 917-661-4500. If you have a housing issue, you can also call that number. Thank you for everything and stay safe and healthy. 而到最後,我們營幕上面也有電話是法律援助處有免費律師的,你們都可以打到 917-661-4500 Okay, thank you everyone. So now um, we have some time left over for questions and answers. If anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to unmute yourself or to put it in the text box. Um, so I don't see any questions yet so far. I'm just going to keep this open for the next minute or two to give people uh, a chance to unmute themselves or to bring out their questions. Um, like I said earlier, uh, Legal Services NYC is a nonprofit legal services provider. If anyone uh, requires any assistance, you guys can feel free to reach out to us uh, by calling our hotline at 917-661-4500. Yes. Come so I see someone who has raised their hand, MS Al. Do you have a question? Hello? Hi, 
，系听到。系因为我唔系好识搞个 room， 所以我头先系诶冇晒声音，唔好意思。诶、呃，我系咁样嘅。诶、呃，我诶、呃、之前我系诶入嚟住，我系二月份入嚟住嘅，但系咧就诶、呃、房东收咗我嘅嗰个台底费，就一万三蚊。咁诶。呃因为、呃、一入嚟咧，我就疫情啦，我冇办法工作。咁诶而而家嘅话，屋主要赶走。咁、呃、我一直都有交租。由于佢呢度咧房嗰、那个屋有楼，门口有楼，所以咧、呃、又唔去修整，又要收咗我嗰、那个、呃、房底钱一万三。咁如果呢个房底钱可唔可以抵消嗰个租金呢？嗯 ，OK， 咁我翻一翻大个问题去英文先吓。啊、uh, ，So the caller is asking. Um, she's saying that she has moved into her apartment、uh, around February of 2020, and then as a result of the pandemic, she hasn't been able to、uh, afford rent. She had given a security deposit, and she's wondering whether she can use the security deposit to cover、uh, a portion of the rent.、Uh, 誒，咁我再確定一下個問題嚇。你話你係幾時搬入我哋嘅單位嘅？我係誒二零二二零年嘅二月誒二、呃、月二十號。OK， 然之後你跟你搬入去嗰陣時，你係交咗幾多俾業主？誒、呃，我搬入嚟嗰時候咧，我交咗一按係誒一千六百八十，再交一個月嘅租。誒、呃、又係誒一千六百八十，然後咧佢要我交嗰個房底錢一萬三，因為我第一次租屋，我唔知道，我以為個個都要交房底錢，後期我先知道原來房底錢佢收我係違規嘅。係。咁呢個房底錢我可唔可以？因為而家疫情啊嘛，我都冇工作，咁我俾誒俾。呃咁多嘅房底錢俾佢，咁咁嘅話，我而家生活都有問題，咁我可唔可以個房底錢抵消誒、呃、租金咧？咁、嗯、啊，房底錢咧係唔合法嘅，啊業主唔可以規定你俾一俾一筆錢佢先至啊將個單位租俾你嘅。咁你俾咗依一萬三千蚊嗰時候，有冇俾翻啊啊有冇俾翻啊租佢嚟啊？有冇俾翻乜嘢？有冇俾翻啊啊 receipt 俾翻啊任何字條話你係俾咗依個萬三蚊嘅？佢唔肯寫，佢要我俾現金佢。OK， 咁即係咁係有冇證明話你交咗一筆錢俾業主嘅？誒、呃，因為入得嚟住嘅都有簽約，同埋基本上入得嚟住嘅都有交房底錢俾個房東嘅。嗯。但係佢。比較狡猾，佢唔佢唔唔寫 receipt。係，好嘅。咁即係依個房底錢係業主係即係攞嚟俾自己嘅，唔係諗住攞嚟係交任何租金定係啊提供任何服務嘅，係咪？我唔知佢係攞嚟做乜嘢，佢應該我估計係係咪都是誒、呃、當租金還是乜嘢，我搞唔清楚。但係我覺得依。嗯而家疫情咁嚴重，我哋都冇飯開啦。佢仲要攞我哋萬三蚊，我覺得依月攞咗我哋嘅錢，我哋搞到飯都冇開，咁仲要每個月追我哋交租，係咪先？咁依個房底錢可唔可以作為租金咧？啊，咁依個房底，因為房底錢係唔合法嘅理由咧，啊，第一你應該叫叫業主俾翻依筆錢嚟嘅。啊，最重要就係要證明到你係交咗依一筆錢俾業主啦。啊，咁樣佢又佢之前又冇俾 receipt 你，你亦都係攞現金嚟交俾佢。咁我唔知你自己本人有冇任何啊留底嘅證據證明佢係有攞咗依筆錢嘅。啊，但係暫時就算冇嘅話咧，如果將來你個業主係去到法屋法庭嚟告你話你冇交錢嘅話，喺嗰陣時你亦都可以同法庭講話你租依個單位嗰陣時，你已經一次過交咗一萬三千蚊嘅。啊，咁如果你證明到話你真係交咗一千一萬三千蚊咧，啊，咁樣業主亦都要喺嗰度扣除你爭落個租金嘅。啊，但係我就而家我而家建議，因為而家我哋就喺公開嘅
活動咧就唔可以太嘅詳細講解你嘅問題，我就建議你打啊喺網喺啊平江網上面嘅電話九一七六六一四五零零，然之後要求同一位啊房屋法庭嘅律房屋嘅律師傾啊，咁可我哋可以我哋機構可以再詳細啲同你講一講緊你而家嘅情況。OK， 誒、呃、就我我想再重複一次電話係九一七六六一四五零零，係咪？係啦，啱啦。好多謝。Okay, and then just to translate the question, the caller is saying that um, when she had originally moved into her apartment, the landlord had actually asked um, her to pay an additional amount of, above the security deposit. Um, so the landlord is unable, according to New York law, the landlord can only accept a security deposit up to one month's rent for the apartment that you're living in. Anything above that it is illegal. The landlord is not allowed to ask you to provide them any with any further security deposit or for any additional sums of money um, for you to be able to live in the apartment. Okay, I'm going to get back to you, Tai. Is there any other questions from anyone else? Uh, I also want to ask if I can take the case of the case of the case of the case. Yes, it can be. But the case is still being recorded right now. 啊！我哋而家估計就喺六月中就會出噶啦，咁樣咪可以留意下。好嘅，好嘅。咁我如果係誒誒可以打嗰個二一二九六二同埋四七九五個電話申請，申請表格。嗯、uh, ，Nicole or Yiran, do you have any call any number that um? This person can call. They want to get more information about applying for ERAP. Um, the number that we gave before. Um, in front of me. No, there's there's no there's no actual number right now. Um, there's actually no. Uh, they're working on getting an application online. Um, there is the website that they could go to if they want more information. I don't have that in front of me. We can get it. Oh, there we go. Um, it's called it's otada.ny.gov slash program. Okay, so,我们估计六月中就应该会有多些资料。你可以打电话给三一一问问他们有没有其他的资料。我们也有一个网站是你可以上到去这个网站会有最新的资料的。如果有一个新的电话出的话,就应该会有一个网站上边。Uh,咁样咧个网站咧就写咗喺啊我哋个啊chatbox度啦，就系otda.ny.gov。咁样你打电话俾我哋嗰阵时咧，啊你亦都你亦都可以问再问我哋，我哋亦都可以再俾翻